Now this method assumes you've completed the deadliest catch quest to access the deposit boxes. This method is still worth it if you don't have this quest done, but I really just highly recommend it. Here are the variables. The Beast of Burden is optional. It won't really add much in this case. The most important thing is to gear up with a blessed sickle, the Mauritania legs one or two, you need to wear them, and a prayer renewal flask. And head on over to the area located here on the map. Before we start, the big question here is, do we or do we not use porters? Believe it or not, using porters actually loses money in this case. Let me show you. I did a quick 10 minute test without the porters and I picked up 395 funguses. Then I ran the same test with porters and I picked up 410, slightly more. So it should be more money, right? But every porter charge does cost me about 475 coins, thus losing in the end. That being said, I took the path without the porters and I banked at the chest. So let's go ahead and see how much I picked up in 30 minutes. I collected a little over 1000 funguses and they all sold for, according to the time of this recording, 3.8 mil. Our only cost in this case was a single prayer renewal flask, which gave us 36 minutes of small consistent prayer points, which is all we need. Now for something plain and simple, sharks. Here are the variables. This includes the full shark outfit and a supreme call of disease aura, which is the 10% catch aura. And of course, the skill cape for an extra catch. Let's head north here at the fishing guild and see what we could catch within an hour. And here are the results. Not as plentiful as I would like to be honest. They're valued at 754k. Let's see if we could even sell them for that much. And we got 680. And to be honest, with the availability of gathering sharks in the places such as the Border Rot, the God Wars Dungeon 2, believe it or not, and the Garage of Horde Stalker Dungeon, I'm not too surprised at the current prices of sharks. After all, they aren't the, you know, premier food as they used to anymore. Heading back to the Lunar Spellbook, we're gonna give Humidify a try. More specifically, we're gonna fill vials. With the recent 120 Herblore, I'm hoping there's a market for these water-filled vials, and I'm pretty aware that you could just pick them up for almost free in some general stores. Hey, remember one thing, convenience sells. So I bought 10k empty vials and some astrals. I'm gonna use an elemental staff I already had in my bank, though a steam battle staff works exactly the same. Loaded up a precinct and went to town with it. Okay, pause. Now you might have noticed something is off. I actually used one inventory spot for the astral runes. We're gonna come back to that in a minute, but for now, let's just move on. Let's go ahead and see the end results of 30 minutes. Now we burned through the vials a lot faster than I thought. I kind of wanted to do an hour, but that won't happen in this case, I guess. Here are the numbers. Now going back to the astral room I mentioned earlier, remember, the spell can fill up to 28 items. My mistake here was I didn't store the astrals in a rune pouch, which in the end resulted in me in losing 24k throughout the 289 casts. Just for one inventory spot, I missed out on almost 25k, or almost 50k if you did this for an hour. Use a rune pouch. When you think back at Aviancy's, what comes to your mind? Probably adamant bars. From what I could remember, they were decent money. And more importantly, 
they were consistent money. Does this hold up today? Let's give it a try. Here's a gear I'll be using, some standard combat gear with a steel titan to help me. I'll be using legacy mode as I feel it does really well when you're fighting monsters with low HP. Also I want to avoid using abilities such as combust, chain, ricochet and such as I don't want to mix my loot with the mage and melee variant of the Aviancis. Let's skip ahead and check the results. And we got a whopping 263k. My my, how the mighty have fallen. Before we begin, make sure you have the area loot turned on in your settings and have it bound to a hockey to make this a lot easier. A very classic moneymaker, the fruit fall. This is mostly for the papayas. And here are the variables I'll be using. Now it's important that I mention you need to purchase summoning potions, not super prayer restores. Restores only boost your summoning points, not your familiar's energy. You can toggle this view by clicking on the bar highlighted here on screen. The method is basically just using the scroll a few times, restoring your summoning points, keep using the scroll, then pick up the fruits with area loot. Make sure to bound your familiar's special move to a hockey and just go to town with it. So with that said, let's go ahead and see the results of 30 minutes. Obviously the biggest expense came from the potions. But the total cost came to about 1.4 mil. This is a 30 minute expenditure. But once you consider how much everything sold, we got 4 mil, which is a 2.6 mil profit in just half an hour. A little bit click intensive, but pretty good money.